everyone welcome to counterside so an update actually has dropped a few hours ago and we're going to go through the update first and foremost the new units that have dropped or new heroes second would be their skins the new skins that are available for them and the new content or the game mode that is available so let's start this rolling and let's go to so we're going to see the employees and uh, they're here so let's go through um karen wong first so karen wong is an all-around sniper so another sniper which will you know um our current uh, meta of sniper is actually shaolin and it would be very hard to replace her so let's take a look at a employee introduction for for karen so karen wong is an all-around sniper who uses a special firearm designated for long-range interception to effectively attack enemies in the air and on the ground so i think this is going to be aoe um the ground and air member of delta 7 internal investigation department she was one of the last members to join the incomplete counter training project okay let's move on to her stats so for her stats um these are the her maximum stats so combat power is actually 10,000, which is good hp is 18 which is kind of in the mid attack is very good it is actually very good as well the rest of the stats are very fragile defense crit hit is actually good as well evasion and defense are not good so again she's a sniper she should stay in the back and let's move on to her skills so for her skills more or less you have here for basic skill so fires a rifle target in front um targets air units within range first so First priority she will do is take out air targets, not ground ground targets for her basic attack. Second, which is her passive skill, so anti-air expansion equips a firearm specifically created for a long-range interception purposes, inflicts 50% or more AoE damage on targets outside a 4 meter range. I'm not sure how long is that 4 meters, but the further the, uh, the further the target is the higher the damage which is plus 50 percent more aoe damage so targets targets air units within range first again same as her basic skill next is her special skill which is mobile strategy bulwark summons a bulwark that knocks nearby knocks nearby enemies backward damage this bulwark moves forward and periodically forces target to attack it for three seconds so for me this is just this is more or less a last resort because normally when you play snipers there are usually people in front defenders strikers um rangers that will defend your sniper so more or less the skill three is i don't think this will be used that often because again by the time that your sniper is left usually you're already overwhelmed so um special skill is actually a bit questionable let's go to the ultimate skill freedom strike which is summons delta 7 flagship the new ohio m inflicts aoe damage on a enemies in the front so more or less i think all of them in, in the line will be you know will be hit by this skill <clears throat> so do you think she is a good um unit so i'm not sure yet let's move to her swimsuit um this is actually the skin that is available right now so more or less um i like this pose actually by the way um better than her last pose but the last pose was actually good so this is actually new as well new skins for us to get um overall for karen <clears throat> if in terms of uh, um priority she would be my second sniper i don't think think at this point um shaolin would be would be um taken over by her um i would still take um shaolin because of her massive critical damage but again she stays behind shaolin for the meantime let's go to the next uh unit that just arrived as well together with karen wong so it's ju Xiong. so ju Xiong is actually a tricky vanguard specializing in countering her enemy's normal attacks she can also improve her evasion so she can take on multiple enemies at the same time i really like her 
I really like her with this description. A freelancing mercenary whose motto is I do as much as I'm paid for. She claims that uh, she's... What do you call this? Where is it? She's the epitome of uh, professionalism. So, again... Um, based on her description, I like her already. Let's go to her stats first. So for stats, combat power is good at maxed um, stat. So HP is actually very good at 40,000. So she's very tough. As expected, evasion is should be high. Crit is actually high. Um, and defense is actually good and hit as well. So more or less attack is actually good as well. So in terms of in terms of again she's more durable because she's a striker of course and let's go to her skills basic skills so her basic attack swings her long sword inflicting aoe damage on enemies in the front so good passive skill will be counter stance range attack damage taken minus 30 percent so as she is charging when range um units actually attack her um all of it mercs soldiers or even your counter so more or less it's a minus 30 damage taken which is actually good so she has evasion dam uh, defense and health which is good as well after every third basic attack she takes the counter attack stance and responds to incoming basic damage with aoe damage so good as well i think this she is actually viable in the meta because um we're really looking for um, a hero or a unit that is actually number one tanky enough evasive enough and has high damage and plus right now she has counters so well it's a win-win so if she doesn't counter attack then increases her own evasion by 50% for six seconds so again it's a win-win um, and uh, level five of this skill is counteract that Counter attack damage is plus 30. Non counter attack buff also adds um, attack skill speed plus 30%, which is actually very good. Um, special skill, skill is bite, so swings her long sword and levitates nearby enemies. She then follows and cuts at them with a dagger inflicting AoE damage, blinds the target for four seconds. This is actually, she actually has a lot of utility that I'm actually in love with her kit already. So, more or less, I have decided already in which um, new unit I should pull for. And I think it's going to be Ju Shin Yong. So, more or less, good skill, special skill. Then, her ultimate is forcefully stabs her longsword, inflicting AoE damage on enemies on front. Afterward, increasing attack and damage reduction by 20% for 12 seconds. And stuns the enemy for 3 seconds. So again, a very good ultimate skill. Overall, her kit is actually wonderful and it fits the current meta right now for the Southeast Asian Open Beta. So let's take a look at her in her bikini. So this is actually her skin that has dropped as well. And these skins actually, by the way, will be found here. Let's go to the shop. So skin here but the currency is admin coin so you'll have to spend for you to get them um if you want to get their skins so more or less guys uh, this is going to be selling a lot as well so those are my you know thoughts about the heroes or the units that have dropped their skins their skills and i think who you should pick in terms of if you want to choose to summon for i think it's ju shin yung um karen wong would be your secondary sniper behind shaolin for your snipers okay let's go to the new content that has dropped for the game we have here um event so you can see here at the bottom after free contracts so new tab is added so this is actually the new content crossroads <coughs> pathfinder I'll actually do this today and give you guys an idea on how to farm um, the best stages for this one and the best um, the best way to get this. Um, what's the currency? 
The currency for this stage is this one. So you have Crossroad Gemstone, Dark ma Red Material, which can be used in the shop. And more or less, in terms of the shop, let's go back to the shop. It, sh it should be around here. Shop list, season, then event, currency, exchange. So for the shop, more or less, there are a lot of good goodies here. Obviously, the T5 gear is actually very good. You need to get these um these are more or less what you need on a daily basis so you grind this stage as often as you can so employment contract is here so purchase 10 out of 10 um i'm not sure if this these refreshes or if you purchase one then it goes you know it it, it it's removed already so i think that's the scenario so more or less good you have prime training data which is actually very important that we're needing you have t5 gear you have apt cores and you have employment contracts s8 apt cores and actually the, the good stuff are here so again crossroads would be a very good stage to mine for um more or less I think you guys will have to um, exert more effort here in terms of in, in terms of doing this. So you can see here your crossroads mission. So just complete just by logging in. So I already got 50. So more or less, again, there's th these are additional rewards for you to get. So you have here employment contract as well. And this is what I actually am looking for. The prime training data because i'm trying to upgrade skills for my units and more or less that is it guys great event um actually great start for for counterside uh releasing a new update after their their what they call this their their um release for southeast asia so this is their first update and very good very good characters um let it I'll be I'll be pulling for so I forgot her name sorry uh, <laughs> for this chick <laughs> I'm going to pull for her so so something young okay sorry um bad with names again and uh, more or less I'll see you in my, in my next video for those who have gone this far in watching this video please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot for those who haven't um please do um around 70 79 percent of my viewers again i haven't subscribed yet so again please consider subscribing because again this helps my channel also guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here